this is what to study part two. So we went ahead and decided to release this. Uh, we have a couple different modules that are going to be covered for the exam, um, basically all of them, but they're going to be different weights. So everything before stocks, modules one through five, there'll be two questions. One will be probably uh, personal finance and the other will probably be like a project question. You know, I want to start a company, here are the cash flows, is it a positive NPV or something? The second question is going to be, or the second uh, part will be bonds, so that's module six, and there'll be two questions on that. Um, I don't know, bonds are pretty straightforward in my opinion. You'll have stocks, module seven, that starts the material that came after, um, like I started right before spring break, like I think that Wednesday, maybe the Monday, and then uh, we finished it after spring break, and then uh, the school closed. So you may not remember it, but you should look back at it. There will be four questions on that. You'll have Cap M, Module 8, which is three questions, Capital Structure, which is Modules 9 and 11 through 13, also three questions, and then a theory question on the uh, efficient markets. And again, you should, this one is going to be a theory question. All of these will be calculation questions. So what you want to do there is create a spreadsheet that will help you ahead of time with calculations that you're not sure about. And you want to make it to where you can easily go and find your calculations that you did on one problem that you know are similar to the ones that you'll see on this problem, and you want to work through those ahead of time. Uh, so they're right there if you need them. If there's stuff that you forgot, you can add notes. Um, but anyway, that's another way that you can study for the test. Hope that helps.